The South African Democratic Teachers Union, SATU, was formed on the 6th of October in 1990. Shepherd member T.C. Mlatlana became its first president and Dr. Mugwena Maluleke is the general secretary of SATU and he helps us go down memory lane now and joins us via our video link. Uh, Dr. Maluleke, thank you so much for your time this evening, sir, on SABC News. I mean, let's start off here. Let's get, firstly, your reaction on the passing of the former Labour Minister. Uh, good evening uh, to your viewers at home and to yourself. And we really uh, thank you for having us indeed. We want to express uh, our heartfelt condolences to the family of Mbati Simdalana um, as uh, the family, uh, as a bereaved family. But we also uh, wish to celebrate his life as a leader, um, as the son of the soil. Um, uh, who has uh, really um, worked so hard to form this non-racial, non-sexist, unitary organization. Um, it was not easy. It was not fashionable to belong to a trade union during the apartheid regime. And therefore, we are um, here as well, um, you know, raising uh, our voices to say, we want to thank him and because we are grateful for the work that he has done, especially being part of the drafting uh, of the Bill of Rights in this country as a human rights activist, as a labor rights activist, um, and, and, and a teacher uh, for that matter, because uh, today the status of teachers um, is not the way it used to be in many, many other countries. Uh, we are struggling to have this particular profession being recognized. And this is what Mulalana fought for when he was um, a leader of our organization. Therefore, we wish to um, stand in solidarity, grieve with the family at the same time, uh, celebrate his life. Mm, and you share a very important history uh, with the former Labour Minister. And I mean, just looking at, uh, you know, his accolades and what he's done the past uh, couple of years. I mean, he served as Deputy Secretary for the Cape African Teachers Union uh, between 1984 and 1985. And then he also went on uh, to become one of the founding members, the chairperson, as well as uh, uh, the founding president of uh, SATU between 1985 and 1990. Perhaps just tell us about your relationship, especially how it came about uh, for you to form SATU? SATU was um, um, a baby of many, many organizations, the African National Congress, uh, COSATU, uh, and the uh, South African um, at, uh, Communist Party. And clearly, it was even before COSATU was formed, uh, this idea of having to launch a unitary organization, non-racial in character and non-sexist uh, in character, was a, a, a concept that has always been debated um, amongst our leaders in the mass democratic movement. And therefore, Mdalana and other leaders who were in USA and other unions that were there, you have just mentioned that he was also part of the unions in the Western, in, in, in the, in the Western Cape uh, before the formation of SADU. So SADU brought about 18, uh, 14 unions together so that they have to ma ma amalgamate to form this uh, particular organization. In 19 88, a delegation was sent to Harare where the African National Congress sent leaders like Thabo um, and, and and Jacob Zuma uh, to preside over that particular meeting where a declaration was adopted, which we call Harare Declaration, which spelled out the principles. Uh, one of the principles clearly was that you do not organize workers on the basis of their ideology but you organize the workers because they have common uh, enemy, which is, the, is, 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 is capital yeah. and imperialism. And therefore, that's how the organization uh, wa wa was formed. Other organizations that went with them uh, for this amalgamation, others uh, pulled out out, but majority of them came together to form this particular organization. Mm. And hence, in, in Gadan was then a founding uh, president of that. He fought for the recognition of our organization. It was not easy. Um, I mean, apartheid uh, regime did not want to recognize Satu. Uh, homelands, you know, um, homelands leaders did not want to recognize Satu. It was very tough. However, because he was very pragmatic, he was a professional, he was a revolutionary, he had uh, a, a, a very strong view that a negotiation and conversation with those particular leaders will uh, eventually lead to the recognition. However, yes, some recognize us, 
and uh, and uh, unfortunately 1993 he had to lead one of the biggest strike uh, that has ever happened in our country especially from the teachers perspective where we were fighting for the liber uh, for, for for the recognition many many of our leaders were suspended some of them were eventually expelled by the apartheid regime however we fought for those suspension to be dropped and then he fought very strongly together with uh, his collective to ensure that uh, those who were expelled were reinstated in, 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 right. in government. All right, uh, then, uh, Mr. Marileka, thank you so much uh, uh, for your time, sir, this evening. Uh, that is uh, Santu General Secretary Mugwena Maluleke there, uh, just giving us his insights in terms of the history of Santu and the role that was played by the former Labour Minister.